Hi guys, good evening, how are you? Hi Mauricio, hi Kenny and hi Jose. Hello teacher, good evening. How are you? Hi, fine. How was your day? Hi everyone. Good hi teacher, good evening. Good evening, how was your day? Tell me. Wow, like the weather, cloudy. <laughs> cloudy and sleepy, right? All day I'm, raining. I'm mm -hmm. tired. I'm okay. tired. Tired? Ah, why tired? Because I was uh, help. Mm -hmm. Helping. Any... <clears throat> yeah, helping. Mm -hmm. Any people that, um, how do you say, in my neighborhood? Uh -huh. uh, and for that reason, I help them. Hello? Okay, so you're going, okay, so you were helping your neighbor, so you were being a good neighbor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and super. For that reason, I am tired. All right, but you're going to go to heaven because of that. You're, you're helping out your community, that's good, okay? That's, that's something awesome. Okay, super. Well, yesterday we were talking about childhood memories and a little bit about used to, but we forgot to do the knowledge check for used to. So let's go ahead and do it together. If you wanna join me in the platform, that is exercise, let's go ahead and check. So remember, um, ta -ta -ta. It's exercise 1.14. Let's go ahead and do it together. Who wants to help me with the first one? This was from yesterday though, okay, the used to. This is about used to, so let's just do the exercise for, so we can jump into something new. Um, we were talking about when we use used to, the verb will always go in the present. So for example, in the first one, the first, um, question it's which one is correct we have three tell me which one's correct did you used to worry about money when you were younger did you used to worry about money when you were younger or did you used to about money when you were younger for me the second uh, number did you used two? to worry about money when you were younger yes okay that's for you uh, everybody else, what do you guys think? And me too, the second choice. Second choice, okay. For me, it's the first one. Okay, the first one, okay. We'll see, just check on your choices, okay? We're gonna see at the end. I'm not gonna do it like right now, I'm gonna show you the answers later. Next one, which is correct? Did you used to follow politics five years ago? Did you used to follow? politics five years ago or did you use two politics five years ago choice number one did you use to follow number one mm -hmm. okay yes. did you use to follow politics five years ago okay because we always use used to with the verb in the present not in the past right okay excellent next one choose the best question to match this answer i used to care a lot about my appearance now i am too busy to care how i look so the question would be what did you used to care about when you were younger what did you used to care about when you were younger or did you used to care about your appearance number one choice number one Choice number one. Okay, what did you yeah, used to care one. about when you were younger? Okay, very good. Let's find out. And the last one, number four. Did you used to play when you were, I'm sorry, what type, what kind of video games did you used to play when you were a teenager? Or did you used to play when you were a teenager? Or you used to play when you were a teenager? Second choice. Second choice, did you used to play? Okay, let's check yes. our answers. Let's go up. Okay, so the first one is number two, as you said, it was correct. Number two is the first choice that you used to follow, not followed. Okay. Number three, what did you used to care about when you were younger? Very good. The first one. Number four is the second one. 
What kind of video games did you used to play when you were a teenager? Did you get all of them correct or did you, do you have any mistakes? Do you have, a, do you have them all correct or did you have one or two wrong? All of them correct. Super, okay, thank you. Okay, so that was something that we had pending from you still from yesterday. I forgot to tell you guys to work on that. And moving forward, we're now moving to unit two. And what's our first topic for unit two? I don't know if you have had the opportunity of looking at it. Countable and uncountable nouns. Okay. Let's watch a short video and then we're going to do a little game that I have prepared for you. Okay. okay. To see how good are you with countable and uncountable now. But let me tell you, I need you to have paper handy because you need to write the answers for the game that I have. Okay to see how good you are. A piece of paper, or you can do it on your cell phone. I would say a piece of paper, that way you're not truqueros when doing your answers, okay? Okay, the first one. Let's go ahead and check out the video, and then we're gonna do the game. I can hear. I can hear. Uh, me too, I can hear. Okay, I'm sorry, I think I, I forgot hear. to share the audio. Let me share again. <clears throat> sorry, I think I didn't share the audio, yeah. Okay, there Okay, we go. thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, a camera, a stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flower, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They 
cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there is too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Um, police officers, is that count or non-count? Um, buses, is that count or non-count? And pollution, is that count or non-count? Okay, so one important thing is, for example, traffic, talking about countable and uncountable, we can count the container, okay, of the, or the essence of that. For example, for traffic, we cannot count traffic, but we can count the cars, the trains, the taxis, right? That's what we can count. Traffic, no, that's why it's uncountable. But we can count cars or, or we can count buses or we can count bicycles, any means of transportation, right? So another example, sugar. Sugar is uncountable. Nevertheless, we can count a pound of sugar, una libra de azúcar, for example, or two cups of sugar. Liquids, it's something else. We cannot count water, but we can count a bottle of water, or I can count a glass of water, the container of the product itself, right? For the item itself. So that's the difference between countable and non-countable. Sometimes it's very difficult to know the difference between one another, I know, but it's just a matter of exercising, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little exercise, is a game on YouTube. So you have, you're gonna have 15 questions and you have to write the answer for whether it's countable or uncountable as the exercise goes along. So I want you to be ready with your pen or pencil and paper that way we go through the answers at the end and you tell me what your score is. If you're good at countable or you still need to practice a little bit more, okay? Are you ready? Ready. Super. Remember that are 15, okay? 15. Okay. It's just music, so I'm gonna play it little so that way you guys can do it. So you're gonna see them pass the sentences. You're gonna see a couple of sentences and you just have to write down the correct answer. Ready, set, 
go. This one will have music, but it's very low. So don't worry about the music. I want you to focus on the exercise. Is it too fast or do you want me to give you time between questions? To I write think the answer? it's too fast. It okay. It's too fast. Okay, let me go back to the first one. Okay, thank you, teacher. So just again, going through the instructions, I'm going to stop there. So I want you to choose, if you want, write them down on your notebook. You're going to choose the word some, any, a little, a few, much, many, a or an, or nothing. Those are your words to determine whether they are countable or uncountable, okay? I want you to write down the list. Now, a trick, and this is something that showed at the beginning of the video, it was that for you to know whether it's countable or uncountable, if you have the articles a and an, most likely are things that you can count. For example, you can say, an apple or a, a window and you can count it. But then you have other words like such as um, many, you can count some, perhaps not, a little, a few, perhaps not. So you will, I want you to, I want to see if you're able to identify where you can use them, whether for countable or uncountable, okay? Did you guys copy down the words that you're gonna be using? Let me go with the first one. Number one. Is there space cheese left? So you have to choose whether it's a few, less, many, so much. Is many countable, right? We're gonna I find it's many. We're gonna Is find out. Yes, but you don't have. Left. Okay, we're gonna find out. But you're not supposed to say it, okay? Because it's a little. It's a little. We're gonna find out at the end, okay? Just write down your answer. Okay, okay, okay. And then we're gonna do it after okay, after we finish. Next one, number two. Just write your answer. To make a pancake, you need space, eggs, and flour. Let me know when you're ready. Just say ready, okay? Just say the word ready so I can move to the next one. I can repeat any. Yeah, you can repeat any of the words. Uh -huh. You can repeat oh. any of the words. Okay, thank you, teacher. The one that you would consider that will go along with this one. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. Ready. Ready. 
how space cars are we taking? Excuse me, I need space information about the train timetable. Excuse me, I need space information about the train timetable. How space rice do we have left? How rice do we have left? Please buy me a apples for the cake. Sorry, I went too fast on this one. Please buy me a apples for the cake. Is there space time left? Is there space time left? There is space coffee in the pot. There is space coffee in the pot. The plants need space more water. The plants need space more water. He is looking for space job work. He is looking for space work. Number 11, I don't have space money on me. I don't have space money for me, on me. There are so space people here. There are so people here. That is space big child. That is space big child. I could never live in England. There is too rain there. I could never live in England. There is too rain there. Number 15. The last one, the hourglass only has a sand left. The hourglass only has a sand left. Okay, now this is the last one. Now let's go over the answers and check if you have them correct and then we're gonna go over them, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Just check your answers right now. Let me go with the first one. Is there any cheese left? Do you have it like that? No, I failed. Oh, teacher. Yeah, uh -huh. me too, I failed. It's okay, I, because you had, many. is there some cheese? I put many. I is put many, many too. I brought is many, many too. <laughs> uh -huh. You see, the image and the question, totally different, yeah? Totally. Yeah. So the question, yeah. there was a lot of cheese on the refrigerator, but the question was, is there any cheese left? Si sobraba. Any, any. Not if there was a lot, okay? Very good. Well, it's okay, don't worry. But the idea is to practice for you to realize that sometimes the pictures can confuse you because the picture is like this and then the question <clears throat> is different. They can confuse you. Next one. To make pancakes, you need some eggs and flour. Okay, you can count the eggs, yes, some eggs, yes, and flour, uh -huh. you can count flour, but in pounds, like one pound of flour, to, yeah. but some is a word to use with countable too. Mm -hmm. Do you have it correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, Peter. In my case, it went by. In your case, I'm sorry? Bad? Or correct? I say, I put some. I okay. Put many. I'm uh, sorry. Sorry. Many. Uh, many eggs many. and flour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. I fail. Uh huh. Okay. Because it's a it, it's a lot of pancake. No, it's <laughs> one pancake. But uh huh. The picture, the reality, versus reality versus the picture. The picture were many pancakes, sí. but in the question or in the sentence, it says to make yeah. a pancake. One pancake, you need okay. some eggs and flour, not many. Aha, uh -huh. so that's a good exercise. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. It's tricky. So this one was? How many cars are we taking? How many cars oh. are we taking? Because you can count cars. How many are, we have a big lot of cars. How many are we taking? What do you have? Do you have it correct? Yeah. I put many. Correct. Yeah, put many. Yeah, correct. correct. Super. Yay. That's great. Let's go with the next one. Excuse me. I need some information about the timetable. Some information. Do you have it like that? Yeah. I Super. Put, I put correct. Yay. Good job. Good job. I put more information. Uh huh. I mean, I'm okay. More information is additional, but in this case, it's some information like because you have a timetable for the trains so and what time they leave and at what time they come. That is a timetable, by the way. A timetable is that hora llegada, hora salida at the airport or at the train station or subway stations, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rice, how much rice do we have left? Because you cannot count it because we don't know. You may have a little back here, a little back there, and <laughs> a little bit of grains in a bolsita to play bingo. I don't know, you may have everywhere. Mm -hmm. So how much, you can oh, count gosh. the bag, the container, but rice is uncountable. It's like sand and, and sugar. So it's how much how rice. Much? Please buy me a few, a few apples for the cake because you only have three, a few. So you can count a few, okay? Three apples, two apples, five apples, etc. a few. Do you have a few or what did yeah. you have? Yeah. Number six, yes. Super, nice, great Number job guys. Six, fine. Super, excellent, great job. Next one, is there any time left? Do you have that? Is there any time left? Yeah, in my yeah, case, yeah. I put any. Super, great job. 
Okay, is there any time left? Yeah, with time is always, is there any, any time left, okay? Number eight, there is some coffee in the pot. Oh, some coffee. Me. I failed. What did you write? <laughs> there is some coffee. There I is use much. much. Mm -mm. Yes, Never. I Never much, okay? Now you know, but it's good. When, when we make a mistake in English, we learn from our mistakes. So in this case, remember, much and coffee, never, together. Never, okay. okay. Like in okay. this case, okay. I, there is some coffee on the pot, okay? Pero I can say I love, I, I could say I love coffee very much. Oh, okay. Only it's a compliment. In this much? As a compliment. Oh, okay. But you we cannot can say there is much coffee. It doesn't sound correct in English. So there's some coffee. There is a lot of coffee. A lot of like coffee. If it was a big, like for everybody, right? A lot of coffee. But no, if not, it's some coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go with the next one. The plants need some water. Oh, some yeah. more water. Some. What did yes, you write? Um, correct. Yeah? Some um, more water. Okay. Some Every more water. Uh -huh. Some more water. Very good. Very good. Our next one. He is looking for some, some work. work. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, he's looking for Rest. some work. Yes. <laughs> the picture. <laughs> I don't have any money on me. When you don't have anything, it's any, okay? Some is a couple, but any is not. So I don't have any money. I'm broke, super broke. Uh, I, I use have, enough. I don't have enough money on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can it's apply. Mm -hmm. Can apply. Uh, okay. Yes, I put, I put any. Any money on me? Okay, super. Any money. Great. Let's go with our next one. Well, there are so many people here. There are so many because you can count people like one person, etc. Two kids, etc. You can count it's people. Number eleven, right? Yes, number twelve. 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 Okay. Oi. Oi. Wait. What is the answer? I'll tell you a bit. Many. Many. Many, many. many is the answer, the number 12. Yes. Oh. There are so many people here. Many people. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our next one. And our last one, I think it's number 13. That's a big child. I know because we have 15. That's a big child. Do you have that? That is a big child. Big child. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you can count this just one. Uh huh. Very good, very good. Next one. I could never live in England. There is too much rain. Too much. Too much. Correct. Super. <laughs> the cat. And you know what? Fun fact. That's a curious fun fact. These cats are very expensive. The cats that are, that, los pelones, the ones that are, do not have fur, that are only the skin. They ah, are sense. like, it, they're called Egyptian cats and they're one of the most unique, bizarre and expensive cats in Europe and in Asia. Okay. I think they, like they are ugly. Yeah, me too. I like scary. Imagine in the middle of the Whoa. night. I know. <laughs> Looking Looks at them. like rats. They look, uh -huh, because they don't have they don't have fur, pelaje, fur. They don't like fur. The hourglass only has a little sand left. Do you have that? A little, ah. A, a little. little sand little. left? I so use much. few. Few sand left? Mm, because no. it's just, uh -huh. it, yeah, the, indicator, a few. the indicator, it was a ah, little sand, one sand, maybe just, ooh, about to finish, mm -hmm. based on the picture, of course, based on the picture, okay? So, now that we have the answers, 
in this exercise. Tell me what was your score. You're going to divide the total out of 15, for example, nine out of 15 and so on. Mm -hmm. I had two right answers and I failed in five. Out of 15? Uh, 10 or 15. Okay, so what you're gonna do in the calculator is this. I have you nine have 15. 10 divided, hold on, by 15. And your answer is 6.6. .6. I have 10 of 15. Okay, 10 divided by 15 is 6.6. 6. 6. 10 correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, have, 10 correct. Okay, I have 9. Okay, oh. 9 15. divided by 15 mm -hmm. yeah. is 6. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. That's a good score. Yeah, me too. I have, I have 9 correct. Okay, super. Divide Don't worry, 15. it was just an exercise you didn't know. Okay, it was just a little exercise for you to for you to overview this topic, okay? So you don't have to worry about it, okay? It was just an exercise, guys, don't worry. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pair you up again because this time I want you to work on the platform and I want you to work on the exercise that comes along with the presentation. So now we saw the video, which was 2.0, 2.1, if I'm mistaken, yeah, 2.1. So I want you to do the knowledge check on 2.2, okay? So I want you to pair you. I, I want to pair you up so you can do this exercise number five. Okay, number. I'm sorry, one through five, exercise two point two. Okay, two point two. With your partner. Uh -huh. I'm going to. There you go. Accept the invitation, please. Okay. Well, we want to to ask about the platform, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to do the exercise 2.2 .2 on the platform. 2.2. .2. Oh. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Let me think 2.2. .2. Okay. I think that... Well, the number one, say which of the following option is not an account noun. Okay, we have three options in, in the question number one. Which of the following options is not a con noun? Bus, software mm -hmm. nine, or parking? Parking, I think parking. Okay. I think it's number two. It's so well night. It's como la línea del tren. But parking is a, I know, I don't know because you can use, I have three parkings in my building, for example, or I don't know. Number two, what are some examples of non con nouns? I say, I think it's water. And water, water. Air? Uh, yes, yes. Air. Wood? Um, wood? What, what meaning? What meaning? Okay, which right. of the following options is not a count now? Subway line and parking. And for me, not count now. Parking. Parking is not, yeah. it's not countable. Subway line. Mm, yeah, parking. Bus and subway line are countable names. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And number two? 
what are, what are some sample of no count nouns? Uh, water, wood, and air. Okay. You can, you, can, um, you can count the, computer and television. And the number three, what are some examples of count nouns? Uh, desk, camera, book. Uh, coffee and sugar? Uh, coffee and sugar, you can count sugar and coffee. Uh, count. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay. Um, a book, camera, cam camera? Desk, camera, and book. Yeah. Number four. Number four. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? And the choice is number one. The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. Mm, the buses are new, but okay. yeah, um, it's a uh, uh, I'm sorry, I forget the word, <laughs> but that's right. <laughs> Did you finish? And number five, why is it? Finish. Are you done? Yes? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. Okay, what was your score? What did you get? Uh, the first time we do we did uh, 22 or 25, something like that. Okay. Because we have the mistake in the number four. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. What was number four? Ah, okay, we're gonna go over it together, okay? So um, we'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. No escuchamos, I can hear. Ah, perdón, perdón. I'm sorry. Okay, going back again to what I was saying. I'm going to repeat, okay, rewind. <laughs> sorry. So parking, talking about parking is a non-count now because we can count the spaces where you park your car, right? The spaces. But the parking, we cannot count it. For the second one, examples of non-count nouns, we have water. And I was telling you, water, the liquid, you cannot count it, but you can count the container, not the liquid. Computer, yes, I can say one computer, two computers, three computers, I can count. Wood, oh. I cannot count wood. I can count the logs, las ramitas, los troncos, the logs of wood, but I cannot count the wood itself. And air, of course, I cannot count air. Then televisions, yes, I can count them. Number three, what are some examples of non-count nouns? A, I'm sorry, of count nouns, things that I can count. A desk, yes. Sugar, no. A camera, yes. Books, yes. And coffee, no. Okay. And number four, why do buses cause too much pollution? The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. 
The buses are new, but they are in bad condition. No. There are too many buses. No. The reason why is because they are old. So, siempre preguntamos why, respondemos because. Always. You ask why, you answer because. Why is this? And because. Da, 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 da. Okay? So, that's like the logic in grammar. So, you always ask why, and you answer because. And the last one, why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many bicycles? No, because there are too many cars, okay? Pedestrians are people walking, but no, that's not a reason to. It's because there are too many cars. Do you have them correct? Yes. Super. Yes, All of them? All of them? So you have yes. a 10. Okay, great. Now let's do our last exercise before I let you go. Okay, so you watch the national broadcast with the president. I'll let you go before. Uh, so let's do this small exercise, okay? So if it's uncountable, you're gonna tell me O. If it's countable, you're gonna tell me C for this shopping list. Bread, can you count bread? Yes or no? Countable. Teacher. Countable. Okay. C. Oops. Countable. Countable. Newspaper? Countable. Countable. Furniture? Uncountable. 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 Salad? Uncountable. Uncountable. Juice? Uncountable. Uncountable. Socks? Uncountable. Uncountable. Jewelry? Uncountable. 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 Okay. Uncountable or countable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Water? Uncountable. 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 Food. Uncountable. Uncountable. Yeah. Sugar. Uncountable. Shirts. Uncountable. Milk. Uncountable. Beef. Uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable or countable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. Vitamins? Countable. Countable? Uncountable. 50-50. 50-50. Anything as? 50-50. S in determination. Hey, countable. Countable name. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it as countable. We'll find out. Glasses? Glasses. Countable. 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 Dress. Countable. 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 Medicine. Uncountable. Countable. Chicken. Uncountable. Countable. Vegetables. Countable. 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 Uh, sneakers. Countable. 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 And scissors? <laughs> Countable. Countable. Okay, let's find out. I'm not, we're not gonna do this because we, let's find out just with, oh yeah, we do have, hmm. Let's do, I'm just gonna click finish so we check if we have them correct or wrong, okay? Just the ones on the top. So it's okay, these ones are wrong because, okay, but let's check here. Okay, bread. Uncountable. Uncountable. Uh -huh. Why? Because you can count the slices of bread. Okay? But the in, slices. In, in our case, because the, the bread, you can, you can buy only one bread. I think, I think uh, we can count. I, I only, I only yeah. ate two bread. No, the bread, the bread itself, you cannot count. Lo que se cuenta es the slices. Of bread. Oh, okay. Las tira, las, no. Rebanadas. Las, las thank you, thank you, thank you. Las rebanadas o las porciones. So you count the portions or the, the slides of okay. cake, for example. Mm -hmm. That's why it's considered uncountable. Okay. Chicken, the same. I, you count I, I, the pound, la libra del pollo, but not chicken, uh, uh, the <laughs> pound. So you cannot uh, count you the can, chicken. You can say... I need one chicken. Yes, you could say I need one chicken, but uh, if you were 
But regarding food, you count the pounds. When you're about to buy a chicken to like five pounds of chicken, it's tricky. I know it's tricky. In English, it's tricky. <laughs> but you can say one chicken, two chickens, five chickens, yeah. but as as mascots. <clears throat> Oh, but uh -huh. food, no. In the U.S., in the United States, you count the chickens or the food by pounds. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it, by pounds. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It's similar to the, like the bread. Like bread, slices of bread, too, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you do it. Okay. Well, guys, uh, let me see here. I don't know if you have questions about countable and non-countable noun. It was a fun exercise today. I really like this activity. Um, remember that we don't have class tomorrow until next week, Monday, okay? Monday. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. You can always text me, okay? Text me, what's up, and text me. So we can have a, if you need me to answer some questions, okay? I'll be seeing you next week. Thank you so much. Have a blessed night and an, a great weekend, okay? Okay. okay. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good Bye -bye. night. Good night. Bye. Bye.